Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about Jan.ai and what it is all about. Uh, with the help of this open source tool, you will be able to turn your computer into an AI computer. And some of the features of using Jan.ai are, you'll be able to run any AI models like Llama or Mistra directly on your device for enhanced privacy. No need for an internet connection, keep all your data and processing locally. Second is that you will be able to connect to amazing remote APIs like OpenAI, Grok or Mistral API. Uh, using uh, this particular APIs, you will be able to get capabilities without needing advanced hardware with all the processing being handled in the cloud. Uh, this uh, models that we are specifically going to download over here, once it is downloaded, it will be completely offline. So conversation, preferences and model usage stay on your computer. It is secure, exportable and can can be deleted at any point of time. So complete privacy is basically there. Jan is optimized for any device from PCs to multi GPU clusters. It's fast on Nvidia GPU and Apple M series, right? So I specifically have Nvidia GPU on my uh, system, on my workstation. So let me just go ahead and show it to you. First of all, you have options to download it in Mac, Linux, uh, Linux, uh, various version of Linux, Mac, right uh, and even in windows so i will probably go ahead and download with respect to windows so once i download it i will go ahead and execute this uh, you will be able to see over here i have already downloaded it so i will just go ahead and click double click on this once i probably double click on this it will start installing and uh, once it is installed i will probably go ahead and show you like how this entire uh, app actually looks like when you're running in your local machine so here you'll be able to see that preparing updates and this will probably take hardly a couple of minutes for the installation to take place. So here uh, now you can see this is the simple desktop app. Uh, right now I have not downloaded any specific models over here. Let's see whether I will be able to change this into some black screen. Okay. Um, services show all. So I don't see any options at search. So let me just go over here and explore the hub. So once I specifically explore the hub, any model that you specifically want to import, even from Hugging Face, you will be able to import it. Just download it in your local and just import it over here. Other than that, uh, you'll be able to see over here is that uh, this, this already provides you many, many models like Mistral Instruct 7B. Then you have Llama 3B, Q4. The best thing about all these specific models, right? Gamma model is also there. Cloudy, Cloudy 3 HiQ is also there. Cloudy 3 Opus is there. But if you really want to use all this particular model, you also need to have an API keys, right? Uh, but uh, if I probably consider, so see over here, Grok, Llama 3, 8B. Now I don't even have to probably worry about, uh, you know, downloading the models over here because I can directly use it, right? For all the other models, let's say like Mistral and Llama, I need to download it here. I can directly use it, right? So let's see one example. So Grok Llama 3, 8 billion parameters. So it is from Grok. Grok already provides you Llama 3, Llama 3, 8 billion, uh, Gamma 7B construct and all. So here you'll be also having Mistral, OpenAI, GPT Turbo. You'll also be able to use it. All you need to probably give API over here, right? It will specifically ask you for the API uh, over here also with respect to GPT 4.0. Here also you have uh, APIs uh, which you can use it. Okay, so let me just show you one of the example. Uh, one I will probably show you uh, with respect to this Grok Llama 3. Okay, here I will just click on use. Okay, and let's see. Uh, I will ask a message. Hi. Okay, so here you can see invalid API. Please check your API key settings. Okay, so once I probably go to click on settings. The Grok uses API key for authentication, viewer API key for to do the referencing over here, right? So I will just go ahead and put my API key. And recently from the Grok itself, I had downloaded my API key. So this is what I'm going to copy and paste it over there. So let me just go ahead and paste it over here. So once I probably do this and again, go back to my chat. Now let's go ahead and see this. Uh, my model is basically selected to Grok Llama 3B. 8 billion so now let me go ahead and write hi so here you can see hi how is it going okay and i can basically do or write any more code like can you provide the python code to play tic tac toe game right so i will just go ahead and execute it right 
So here you can see how fast it is. And obviously we know from Grok how you can easily create this. And already in my previous videos, I've shown you how you can create the API from Grok itself. And all the code will be visible over here. Okay, and uh, obviously if you are accessing through APIs, uh, then definitely you require an internet connection. But if I go ahead and see the explore the hub over here, let's see which is the smallest uh, model that I can actually use. Uh, so this is Gamma 2B, uh, 2B Q4. So let's download this model. Uh, I think it is hardly 1.40 GB. So just to show it to you so that you can also apply it for other. So I will just go ahead and download this. So here you can see 2.59%. And the best thing about all these models, right? The format is GGUF, right? When I say GGUF, right? So in Hugging Face, what this GGUF model is all about. So if I go ahead and search, right? What is a GGUF file? It is a file format for storing model for inferencing with GGML and executor based on GGML. GGUF is a binary format that is designed for faster loading and saving of models, right? So definitely go ahead always with respect to GGUF, uh, some kind of quantization and all is also already applied in this, okay? <clears throat> so here you can see how quickly the model is specifically installed. Now I'm going to use this particular model, okay? and start my conversation over here so let me just go ahead and write it hi right so i will be able to see all these things information starting gamma model gamma 3 how are you so let me provide provide me a python code to perform binary search and here you'll be able to see it is using this open source model that is gamma 2b to provide you the entire code right here you also have a lot of other features where you can probably use inferencing parameters. You can set up the temperature, you can set up the top P value, you can set up the max token, the stop token also you can set up. You have model parameters like what should be your prompt and all, engine parameters with respect to the context length and all, number of GPU layers and all. So here you can see completely even though if I remove the internet connection, I should be able to work it out right over here. Um, once the model needs to be downloaded only for that internet connection is required. But other than that, uh, this will be a very amazing thing for all the developers if they quickly want to check out any kind of uh, examples, uh, any kind of uh, application that they are specifically developing. If they get an access to this to quickly check it out, they can actually go ahead, you know. So uh, I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. And uh, please go ahead and check it out. Uh, the link will be given in the description. This is not a promotion video, but definitely this will be helpful if you're specifically using it. So yes, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Take care.